Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm right in my hands. is the Boxer Volume 8. Now, the Boxer, I have to say, to me, is one of the best things on the shelves. Uh, absolutely amazing. Every single volume is amazing and great art, great storytelling. It's just awesome. It's by J.H., translation by Webtoon, and lettering by Ed Nazir McKellen. The thing that I love about the Boxer is the fact is that it's not so much about boxing, but it's also, it's really focused on the characters. It's really focused on, like, the psychology of these characters, their background, their history, and kind of, like, how all that plays off each other with the main character. So it's the story of this uh, guy named Yu, who is uh, just a phenomenon. Um, absolutely perfect boxer frighteningly good, um, has shown no weaknesses, and almost like a predator, just destroys everyone in the ring. Uh, so he's finishing off his, his latest bout with uh, this person named uh, Fabrizio Santorino, uh, who is a horrible person, and I think the series is amazing in that they took this, Ameri this horrible person and gave him such a background that you actually feel sorry for him, and this volume kind of finishes off his story. You really feel sorry for him uh, after his battle with you. Uh, but this new boxer coming in, or an old boxer named Jay comes in. Now, Coach K apparently trained Jay as well, and we kind of get t uh, hints at to Jay's background. Uh, but that's not not the really focus of this. Jay's to the side. You is focused on this guy named uh, Aaron Tide, who's supposed to be this amazing boxer uh, on the level of you, and it's supposed to be going to be the big match. But before we can get to Aaron, we got to deal with another guy named Victor Gregorov. Uh, Victor Gregorov is an idiot. Uh, he thinks mo Mohawks are all powerful and basically kind of just works off a of luck in many ways. Uh, he is a champion, and uh, you've got to go up against him. Uh, this is the first volume that is just like goes into pure comedy. Um, the Victor stuff is freaking hilarious. It's like him punching magma and being like magma punch and punching snow and being like ice punch and punching lightning and being like lightning punch and this is how he's training and his trainer hates him and wants him to lose and there's this reporter following him it's really 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 funny um for a series that's kind of been like almost like a horror seriousness it, the tone of this volume is completely different just going into humor of it all um, and what's interesting is, like, it's overall, I would call, a very, uh, it's a bridge volume. It's taken us from the previous arc uh, of, of volumes, which were a couple of them, dealing with San Reno, and then going into what comes next, which is this Aaron Tide battle. And uh, Victor is just kind of like the bridge between the two. So I think it's it's really interesting to kind of see that and and Victor and, and there's a twist into it and you're gonna sit there and immediately be like oh come on and it just gets sillier and sillier and sillier and sillier and it's hard not to laugh it really is hard not to laugh um, it's just it's another amazing volume uh, the only thing I, I would have to say is I feel like there's parts of it that are a little bit choppy in the story wise um, as a, like a little bit choppy it's not horrible but like just where some things are are a little off the the um the narrative i think could have been maybe a little clearer with some things um but like like this is the santorino thing is like you actually if you come out feeling sorry for those guys um but like it, it, overall it's it's really great when you just focus on the victor stuff you know it's solid um the you you kind of gets a little dark at times uh, we learn that, you know, he's, there's something off on him. Let's go with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the art is amazing as always. The action's fantastic. Um, the Victor stuff is, I said, hilarious. And it's just another amazing volume. Um, there's a lot of background. There's a lot of kind of building it up, uh, building a lot of different lines, uh, plot lines up. And that's kind of the, the goal of this volume is like building a lot of plot lines up and getting things going. So... Uh, it's a packed, packed volume that's a little bit scattered at times, but I still think uh, it's an amazing entry uh, for so many reasons and an amazing entry to an amazing series and one that I highly recommend. Like You don't need to like boxing. That's kind of not the point of it. Um, it's really this battle uh, between characters and you just becoming like this frightening monster. It's more horror than boxing. It's, hor it's a horror story done through boxing. I was like, it's just, it's an amazing, it's amazing. Um, and as usual, I think it will be my one of my favorites of the year. Uh, it'll definitely be on my best love list. So go get your copy. I highly recommend it. If you haven't read the previous seven, go get those and just power through them. It's well worth it. 
uh, it'll be it'll be out uh, in shops. We got links beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shop is near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Izzy Press and Yam Press for helping us up with the review copy. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into manga, if you're into manhwa comics, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.